Namaskar. I warmly welcome you all in this session of Topper's uh, Talk. And today with me is uh, G. Sai Charan. Mr. Sai Charan has secured All India Rank 19 in Electronics and Telecommunication in Engineering Services 22 exam. He has done his graduation from IIT Khadakpur uh, and uh, he did uh, his graduation in year 21. So he's very fresh candidate in 21. He has done graduation and in 22, he secured our India, all India rank 19. So first of all, I would like to congratulate you and your family for this wonderful achievement. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, um, when you made your mind uh, for the engineering services, because IIT Khadakpur is very good in terms of placement and in terms of other things also. Uh, so how did you made your mind to come for the engineering services? Actually, I had these roots in my early engineering days itself, sir. Right. Because uh, my father, being a professor in mechanical engineering, he had a holistic idea of the great opportunities that the government of India provides for engineers like okay. me. So, along with my uh, uh, semester uh, semester activities, I also had to put some time uh, right. to prepare for gate as well as engineering services kind of examinations. Okay. So, um, um, being an IIT and obviously it has helped you uh, because your basics may have been better rather than the uh, other candidates coming from the other engineering colleges. Uh, so, uh, what was your source of study? How did you uh, um, compile the things like what you have to study, what you have not to study? Because college studying for college syllabus and studying for competitive examinations, both are quite different. Yes, sir, certainly what you said is true, but still, I think uh, the basic background or, or the fundamental concepts remain the same. So mm -hmm. that knowledge from my semesters always helped me, uh, mm -hmm. as well as apart from that, uh, to uh, orient my knowledge towards competitive exams like these, uh, I used a certain content that is available on YouTube platforms as well, that is uh, freely available as of now as well as uh, uh, for certain things like current FIs, I, I went through the weekly or the monthly magazines that are being published on the MADG website, as well as certainly the PYQs are a source of preparation for me to judge what kind of concepts or the what kind, what what is the depth of knowledge being tested, as well as um, knowing my strengths as well as uh, weak areas to improve myself. Right. So these were my sources of uh, preparation. Uh, apart from it, I also had to make my own notes. Uh, for uh, during this uh, preparation. So, did you make comprehensive notes uh, or short notes were sufficient? Uh, basically, I don't believe in this kind of short notes things. Uh, so, all I had was a con comprehensive notes. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, you are currently working with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. So, yes, was it a campus placement or some separate examination? No, sir. It was. Uh, an all india exam itself so okay. i had to write it write so, an all exam. Uh, since when you are working in this organization uh it's been a little more than a year sir as of now okay so during interview obviously you were working here uh while uh, the interview opening yes sir so uh in interview were there uh, there were questions from your job profile or they were not asking any question from the job profile in fact for me uh there were little questions i think maybe it's because it's been only a year that I've been working with HAL. Right. But so I think there were very few questions okay. based on uh, my work. Okay. So how was your overall experience with the UPSC interview panel? Uh, it was quite okay, sir. But since it being my second attempt or the second interview with the UPSC, mm -hmm. uh, I was having a fairly good idea of what kind of things they, they are expecting from me. Mm -hmm. Though it had been a little... Uh, a typical this year from what I was expecting, but I was ready for it. So questions were more technical or more general uh, um, things oriented? Um, if I have to give a ratio, it was almost 85% to technical and technical related, right. whereas only 15% which was being asked by the chairperson were uh, non-tech or the uh, general aspects he was asking. So, and uh, yes, please. even in technical, uh, Mostly the questions were oriented towards the semiconductor devices or EDC, hmm. as well as analog and digital electronics. Right. 
so what we expect is uh, something related to communications or the 5g technologies that they would be asking mm-hmm. so that was like some kind of unexpected thing that i had to face in the interview but i was ready for the challenge right, 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 right. so you have done very good in gate also your rank is all india rank 14 uh, in 22 and 21 uh, in 21 your rank was 115 so very good rank in gate examination uh although uh, slavas of both of these examinations is more or less common lots of uh, subjects are common but the approach is quite different so how did you manage both of these examinations so if we see the syllabus just like you told the gate syllabus is going to be a subset of the engineering okay. services syllabus obviously, obviously. so uh, but the only differences that we can say is that uh, gate syllabus um, uh, in gate uh, what they try to test us is the basic fundamental concept mm-hmm. or they can also be logical as well as the, they test your in depth knowledge whereas mm-hmm. in esc you need to be very vast mm-hmm. you need to cover lot of concepts and also apart from that uh, they also test your uh, mental uh, strength as well as patience so that is those are some of the qualities apart from your uh, uh, iq that you need to develop for clearing engineering services mm-hmm. so you did your graduation in 21 and started to work when in 21 itself uh, or in 22 yes, sir. in 21 october in 21 october so almost there is no gap yes sir okay uh, good good uh, uh, so um, you are very fresh candidate do you have any other plan for the other examinations of upsc or this would be the last uh not for upsc sir but i have a plan i i wanted to do my masters ms as well so i think i'll start working towards it okay so that you want to work with uh, this job or you have separate plan i am having separate plans separate plan. good, good, good good so um uh, i wish good luck for that plan uh Uh, before we end this session uh, i want to uh, know your suggestion or you want to share anything about your journey uh, any kind of thing which you want to suggest the young aspirants or you want to share with the young aspirants you are free to use this platform to share your emotions as well as your suggestions sure sir actually until now i got everything in my first attempt so be it je be it gate or be it uh, hcl everything i got in my first attempt so mm-hmm. well my esc 21 was also my first attempt and uh, until then I, i did not know the seriousness of the examination only after i could not clear the esc 21 interview i got to know the seriousness and uh, the importance that esc has so mm-hmm. that was my first uh, failure i can say in my life and uh, that changed a lot of things for good i feel Right. and that was a good experience a mixed kind of experience that i had and uh, uh, definitely i also had a days where which in which i was feeling low mm-hmm. which, which i was feeling down and demotivated itself uh, but then with the constant support from my parents my well wishers and my family of course today here i am and uh, for the young aspirants what i would suggest is that um, uh, everyone each and everyone has to know their own strengths and weaknesses right. so hone your strengths and improve your weak areas right and that is a basic suggestion that i want to give so the strategy varies from person to person so first of all know yourself in and out and uh, right. definitely solve the pyqs apart from solving the pyqs and uh, try to analyze uh, what kind of uh, concepts or what kind of questions that are being asked by upsc as well as uh, uh, <coughs> as well as uh, uh, you will also get to know the weight is given to each and every subject so which will give you a rough idea on what kind of uh, questions that can be anticipated in the next exam as well right so that's all and uh, there's no alternative to hard work practice makes a man perfect right right so one very important thing one should learn from your this uh, whole discussion your journey sometimes failures are also necessary to bring certain positive aspects of your personality as you said that ki everything you achieved in first attempt uh, but uh, this one uh, failure has uh, given you a space to introspect and to take the things uh, seriously uh, so that's also sometimes required so failures uh, should be not taken always in a negative manner they sometimes give you certain positive side also 
thank you sai charan for joining us and it was wonderful to talk with you and uh, keep inspiring to so many persons with your consistent effort uh, and uh, i wish uh, good luck for all your future endeavors uh, and you are very bright person you may be doing certain very good things in future so thank you for joining us thank you sir in this context i would like to thank my parents for their blessings uh, my uh, special ones friends and all my well wishers and family for their constant support and love thank you very much